Hi, Earth signs. Hi, water signs. So this is Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Okay? So let's see what's going on with you guys in the month of November 2020. Please like, share, and subscribe. It is so important to keep me on this channel. Cross watchers, I love you to death. I love all of you to death. I thank you so much for watching my channel. But seriously, you guys need to subscribe, like, share. Mostly subscribe and like. Give the thumbs up. Leave a comment. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, this is Saturday on the East Coast. It is 11.56 p.m. Saturday night. We're almost to Sunday morning. So a half an hour is $50. One hour is $120. Two hours is $240. And you can reach me at 313-401-3707. So let's get on water signs, earth signs. So a lot of you are going to be having heart-to-heart -heart conversations in the month of November. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So I just feel like you guys have been having the heart-to-heart -heart conversations. I feel like they will continue. But he or she is not having it anymore. Okay? But I definitely keep saying that. Right now, you guys are all talk. I think that earth signs and water signs, I think you guys need to let go of your control issues. Some of you have a child with one or the other. Um, you got to allow this situation to unfold naturally. Somebody keeps pressuring the situation, the relationship. You got to stop it. Just see where it goes. Once you let go of the control issue in the relationship, then you, you'll see if it works or not. It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive this higher synergy of all. So both of you, some of you could be separated or not together, but in a relationship or separated. You guys don't know what you're doing. But definitely there's a separation there and you both are looking like, I don't know, if, motherfucker, if I could trust you. Okay? That's how we're looking here. And then you've got to keep an open mind. Yeah, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Very true. But there's still a three-way here. And it's always with you guys, this fucking three-way. Um... Then you've got free yourself. So, yes, yeah, some of you have freed yourself. You said, you know what? I can't do this shit no more uh, with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You guys just say, you know what? Fuck the water sign. Fuck the earth sign. I can't do this shit no more. Um, you guys cause me a lot of fucking stress. Um, you're an artistic. Um, you're a liar. You're a thief. You're a control freak. Um, you never keep your word. Um I want this relationship this way or it can't be at all. So somebody's putting pressure on somebody and they're saying, fuck you. Okay? I curse in my videos. That's just who I am. But then here we go. Some of you want to disconnect from the world. You want to retreat. You want to go somewhere. You want to be together to see maybe if you can work this out. Some of you can. Some of you can't. So some of you are going to be spending a holiday together, which is a good thing. Um, you got the temperance. This has to do with money restriction, testing the waters. So somebody's having money issues within this relationship. It's either both of you or one of you, and the other one's okay. So, yeah, uh, justice, um, water signs, earth signs, you got some legal issues or document. Um, you're going to need some type of documentation within the court, or you got some legal situations coming up, or you're going to see an attorney about a divorce, or whatever the hell it is. Um, finding out the truth in a matter, affecting the balance. So some of you, justice within, well, karmic within a relationship. So you're going to find out the truth, the karmic shit within a relationship. You're going to find out the truth. Like somebody's been lying here. So it could be a legal situation also coming up to where it's got to do with money, uh, water signs, earth signs. Um, maybe somebody's getting evicted and you need to go to court. Maybe there's some custody battles coming up. Uh, somebody's being sued, going to jail. 
uh, got locked up for a DUI, speeding, you got too many goddamn tickets, slow your ass down, you know. But a lot of it has to do with justice karmic within a relationship, okay? Um, then you got the Six of Cups. So some of you have a happy house. Some of you have a happy house. Some of you maybe um, remember living with your grandmother or you're staying at your grandmother's um, or you're staying at the house that you grew up in, okay? But there's definitely happy memories going on here. You got the Two of Wands, so there's a short journey, movement, or near water. So some of you are going on a little journey by some water, maybe. And then we have here, which is the Knight of Swords. Speedy situation or finish. Somebody's speeding somewhere to the finish line. Like you're either getting the hell out of Dodge or you're speeding towards a situation. Maybe you're trying to go get your mate, somebody that you're in love with. You're rushing to get them. Um, but there's a steady, there's a speedy situation. You're trying to get to that finish line. Okay. Um, then you have, you have the, uh, page of pentacles. So this is a student. So somebody's either teaching a class or you're a student somewhere. Okay. Um, then you got the page of cups. This is basic good news. So some of you are really going to get some really good news that you've been waiting on. And then you've got the six of swords. So this is turning your boat, you know, your boat out of troubled waters into calmer waters. So you're getting out of a situation that was causing you a lot of grief, okay? Um, the strength. So you've got inner strength. Um, and you've got strength over people or a situation, okay? Or a relationship. And then you have the fool. So some of you have been a fool in a relationship. You've been used, abused, or somebody's been lying to you, telling you some bullshit. Or you've got some good things happening with you. And you're taking a leap of faith of doing something. You're moving on from a relationship. You're moving on from a situation. You're not the fool anymore. Okay? Earth sign, water signs. Um, and then you have the ten of wands. You you know you're you're worried with a lot of fucking problems within a relationship three way love affair, if you're married, you've got some heavy burdens there with the page of swords. Um, there's some spying going on. There's some deception. So water either you're spying on the um, earth signs or earth signs you're spying on the water signs, or you're both spying on each other. But there's definitely some deception there. You're reflecting back over your shoulder. So you're looking over your shoulder at someone because you don't trust the fuckers, okay? You don't trust them. And then you've got the Ace of Wands. There's new beginnings, uh, like a rebirth, and new ideas and uh, creations that are coming your way, separately or together. Then you've got the Five of Pentacles, delays around money coming in from the cold. So some of you are having money issues. Then you've got the Two of Swords. So there's peace and harmony with some of you. Um, you're needing to take the blindfolds off because somebody's been bullshitting you. Um, there's some deep reassurance that the situation at hand. So there's something that you need to take your blindfolds off of earth or water, water, water and earth because somebody's been lying to you. They've been lying to you for a very long time. They've been bullshitting you. And then your last card is the Seven of Swords. So you're making plans. You got hopes. This is a wish card. Okay? So some of you got some wishes and you're planning to do something together or you're planning on moving on and doing something for yourself. I don't want to leave it right there. You got the Nine of Pentacles. So right now, some of you have a peace of mind and you have contentment um, because either you're not together you're separated, or you're in a place, in a relationship to where you have a peace of mind and contentment. So some of you are by yourself. And then some of you are with the earth sign, water sign, and you're very content with each other. But this, you know, some of you are not happy, and then some of you are. 
some of you are not going for the bullshit anymore. Okay, so this is Earth and Water Signs. God bless. Born with a veil.